What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. We just made a walk out here in the dark on some first ice up here in northern Wisconsin. Today it is me. We got Mitchell behind the camera. We are still in the dark right now. We got to set some tilts up. We're doing some first ice walleye fishing up here in northern Wisconsin. Very exciting day. Our first time on this lake. We had a big cool down that finally came in. It finally starting to feel like winter now. We got like lows in the single digits or at zero and uh, highs in the mid teens. And we can finally get access to a lot of these lakes in which we love to walleye fish, which is very good news and very exciting. So we got to set some tip ups up. Uh, we're going to be fishing very large, shallow weed pieces of structure. And we'll talk a little bit about where we're setting up, how we're setting up and all that kind of stuff. But for right now, I want to go quick. I want to get this intro done. I want to set some lines up. I want to drill some holes and I want to start catching some fish. Are you excited, Mitchell? Yep, we're going to catch them. All right, sounds good. So, Stay tuned. And uh, I always say it. Please subscribe to this channel. It helps my channel out a lot. And hopefully this channel helps you guys out a lot. So stay tuned. We got to get it going on. We'll talk to you in a second. guys first flag of the day look at this we're hooked up in the dark we just shot the intro and uh, we already got flags popping and this is why we woke up early to get out here he's just coming right at me right there he goes and I think there's probably only one kind of fish we can have on it man he took a lot of line we just got done shooting the intro oh yeah <laughs> that is what we're after right there the Sun ain't even up yet catching walleyes up here in here, Wisconsin. It is finally getting cold and we're getting access to some of these deep clear bodies of water, which I absolutely love to walleye fish. And uh, boom, just like that, fish on the ice. That is too cool right there. We're hoping to do at least halfway decent on these guys today and uh, catch a few more of them, catch some pike. You guys know the deal, but uh, that's what I'm talking about right there. We're gonna get them popped off quick, right in the roof of the mouth. Look at that. Just like I said, just shot the intro. I'm gonna get this guy back, he's crisping up. It's about zero degrees out this morning. There we go. On the board, it's about a 22 inch northern Wisco walleye. Let that guy go. He doesn't really want to go. There he goes. Too cool. Let's do it some more. I absolutely love it. It's just a gorgeous, still, like zero degree, crispy morning out here. And it feels like ice season's finally setting in. Previously, it's been like 35 degrees every day, and you're like, is this really ice season? But now it feels like ice season. So let's get her set up and uh, hopefully catch some more fish. Lift and pop. Got him? Hooked up. Oh, it feels like a, like a walleye time. Remember, it could be a big old nasty pike, too. Could be, but it is not. Feels good. Sun's finally nice coming up. Walleye. Oh, dude, grab him. Oh my gosh, that scared the scared crap me. out of me. That's scared. only eight pound, bro. Scared me too, man. That's a fatty. <laughs> that is a good fish. Dang. Look at that. That is what we are after. Oh my gosh, I got tangled up so bad too. Take a look, what an absolute tank. Is this what we're after, Tom, or? That is it right there, man. Look at the color on that thing. Big gut on him. That's a big difference in Minnesota fish and Wisconsin fish, when you say? Oh yeah. Just the color. Yeah. Gosh, we just got settled out here not too long ago. Tom had a flag pop immediately, and that was another nice walleye. We've had a couple flags pop since then. Unfortunately, we did not capitalize, no fish, but... Uh, they're around. Yeah, they're around first ice on this lake that we've been hoping to get on for quite a while now. Awesome. Just fishing this shallow weed bite. Let's get him back. All right, back he goes. All right. That's what it's all about doing. right there. Solid. Oh. Solid fish right there, man. Oh, back he goes. Give me some. Do it again. You better not lose this fish, Tom. He's there, he's there, he's there. Got him. Hooked up. Feels good. Feels good. Oh, he came at me there. He's still coming at me. 
Don't make a rookie mistake like myself. Right Grab that fish. <laughs> Ooh, I think we might have a pike. Yep, definitely a pike, I think. Oh yeah, we got our first little slime rocket of the day here. Knew it was gonna happen eventually. Come here, buddy. There we go. That's where you lose them, right there. Sneak them back up the hole. There we go. First piker of the day. Knew it was gonna happen whenever you're fishing big expansive weed beds. You are likely to catch the pike. Now there's much bigger pike than this in this lake. But uh, hey, we'll take whatever bites the tip up today. There we go. Not a walleye, but hey, we'll take a little bit of everything. Let's let that guy go and uh, get set up. Mitchell, get a pan of like this little sun thing going on over here. This little sun thing. Just hey. a pretty day. Hey, there's the sun. Look at that. Just a pretty day out on the ice. There he goes. Back for more. A few nice walleyes. Pike to get things going. And uh, we're on the board with two species. So we're going to get set back up. A lot of times these kind of weed scenarios are some of your best spots to kind of get daytime walleyes. We got a little overcast today, so hopefully today's the day, so we'll see. All right guys, so one of the biggest things which I like to do with my Markham underwater camera is uh, not necessarily see fish, but see what I want to see in order to catch fish, right? And but what I mean by that is when we're setting up out here on a lot of these bodies of water, we're fishing a lot of these weed edges and these big shallow flats I talk about a lot are great locations for a lot of these early ice walleye fishing, right? But it's a lot of weeds. And what we don't want to do is set up right in those weeds. If you're fortunate enough like me to spend a lot of time on the water, you can waypoint a lot of those edges out and save a little bit of time. But if you're not, or you're on a new body water, which we are plenty of times, use the underwater camera to your advantage, right? So what I've done here is I've located, or I kind of sort of know where this big area of weeds is, right? Which it is out here. And we're right on one right now. What, what, what we really want to find here is like a big edge, right? We want to find the outside edge or the inside edge or some kind of edge, because those wallies are going to run the edge. They're not going to be sitting in that super, super thick stuff, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the underwater camera to find that. And what I'm going to do is drop it down and we'll see what we see here, right? And right away, I'm in a super, super thick spot of weeds, as you can see right here. And this is not this kind of stuff, and we'll kind of see how far we can drop the camera through it. I mean, you can see what this looks like, right? It's probably six feet of weeds down there. Walleyes are not gonna be sitting in 10 feet of water in six feet of weeds, right? That's just not a location where they're really gonna be. Where we wanna find is right on that edge. So I've kind of drilled a line of holes here kind of around this weedy area, right? So I'm just gonna go, I know this hole's super thick weeds. So next thing I'm gonna do is walk up the... Oh my God. Dang, dude, Mitch just fell so hard. Dude. On camera, oh, oh my gosh. Gosh. Is your head hurt? Yeah, I can't believe how hard it just fell. All right, are you are you still going? Good to go? I'm still, we're still good to Holy go. Holy cow, that was unbelievable. Those cleats suck. All right, Mitch just fell crazy hard on the ice. But anyways, back my to our point. Gosh. We drilled a long hole through this big weed bed, right? Or a long line of holes. So I'm just going hole to hole here. I'm dropping down in this hole now. And same thing, a lot of good looking cabbage, but uh, super thick, super dense, right? And this is not what I'm looking for. It's great looking weeds. There's definitely gonna be perch hiding in these weeds that walleyes are gonna be eating, but the walleyes are gonna be using that edge. So we're just gonna drill holes probably every five, 10 feet here. I'll pull the mark them back up and uh, we'll go right on to the next one here. You might go through two holes and find it. You might go through 20 holes and find it, right? We're gonna drop down in this one. And immediately here is a sandy spot. So we have hit our edge. So you can see for the most part, it's pretty weed free down there. A lot of sand, right? And if you turn the camera a little bit here, there's that edge, right? There's that edge that comes out at us. And this is the location where we wanna be setting lines. We're not setting lines in that super thick stuff. We're setting lines right on the inside edge, outside edge, or voids in that weed bed. So a lot of times if you're out here on new body of water and you're not familiar with, use the underwater cameras to your advantage and you guys are gonna be able to be set up on those high percentage areas, right? And we get asked a ton of questions what kind of cameras we're using. This is a super handy, super just kind of, you know, you can throw it in your pocket basically. It's so, far, so small, it's the Marker Pursuit HD. I'll go ahead and link it below. But um, this is basically what we're doing and we're setting every single tip up like this, right? This isn't like just do this for one tip up, it's do it for everyone putting in that extra work is how you catch more fish on set lines all right you guys we've got a flag here whoa he's moving he's moving he's moving pop the ice oh my gosh is he flying all right we're, we're hooked up 
I'm saying probably a walleye here. It's doing kind of weird walleye head shakes, just like thump, thump, thump. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That is what I'm talking about right there. Heck yes. I love catching walleyes. Mitch is in the shack messing with something right now. And it was my turn anyways. Look at that. Big beautiful walleye. He's probably about, I don't know, he's probably about uh, your 20, 21 inch variety right there. We'll take it all day long on the beaver dams. All right, too cool. Time to let him go. Fins are freezing up. It's about two degrees out. There he goes. Good shape. Beaver dams are coming through clutch this morning which they often do when you're fishing these big shallow water areas these fish love using a lot of these big shallow flats early ice and it's honestly i hate drilling holes i hate walking around close to the tip ups because it's just so noisy when you're fishing this shallow that it scares a lot of those fish so a lot of times you kind of got to run set lines just so you can get away from them and just have that static you know presentation right there in their face We'll notice a lot, you know, we'll catch a fish on a tip up and, uh, you know, we'll kind of get back to the shack, 20 minutes will go by, those fish kind of settle back in and then boom, right, you know, the flag goes up again. So they're definitely around, definitely using this piece of cover. <laughs> you got a larger pike on here. Take time. Heavy. Don't, oh yeah. Yes, sir. Hopefully it does not break the line. It's probably gonna bury up in the weeds at some point. It did already, I think. You got him still? Yeah. What if it's like a 35 inch walleye? <laughs> well, might be some kind of Hayward record, wouldn't it? It'd be a world record. Would it? Probably not. No. Is this gonna be a two guy scooping kind of a thing? I think so. Is your GoPro on? Yes, sir. It is. Yep. Looking good, good angle. Feels like a. It's got to make sure that this line doesn't freeze on the ice. Mm -hmm. That's the only problem with super cold weather. I think like you're this. good where you're at because of the snow. I think so too. Just a tip for all the viewers, Tom. When it's below zero. Yeah, look at that. Man, hopefully this is a good one. It's super hard to say sometimes. I mean, it's definitely probably bigger than what we've caught so far. Insane freak out right at the hole, probably. Yeah, I know. That's where one of us just gotta. Oh, you see him? Getting closer. You almost ready? Yeah, there's a big round. There's a nice round. Super fun, though. Super fun. I have caught some big pikers in this lake. That's a big muscle one, just. Yeah. Could it be? Could it be? Could it be a musky? I've not seen well, I guess it. He's gonna freak out one more time. Yeah, I see the little noise maker. Oh yeah, nice big pike. Is it? Yeah. This is where he's gonna lose. Oh, it's a nice one. Real nice this one. This is where he's gonna lose it. Grab him. Oh, and in the gills. Got her. Got it. Got it. Got it. Nice, dude. That's a nice pike. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, take a look. Just a big, big fat pike. It's kind of what, you know, what we're after if uh, we're not catching big walleyes all day. Something like this definitely helps out. Hey, big weed flats, multi species yeah. grab bag. Look just, at the belly on that just thing. Healthy, healthy fish. Cold. <laughs> Eight pound floral, good job. Snap a quick picture, get him back. Ready? Good one. 
boy. Here he goes. Back he goes. Oh, Good work. It was impressive on eight pound. Yeah. All right, we got a flag up here. We'll see what we got going. Oh, he's on there. He's on there. He's on there. Feed him a little bit of line. Got him hooked up. Ooh, feels nice. It's feeling real nice. Oh yeah, I think we got exactly what we want here. Oh yeah, that is what I'm talking about right there. Heck yeah. Look at that one, Mitchell. Awesome, awesome fish right there. That is what I'm talking about. Just hammered that thing. And what we're using for bait is kind of like we talked about some of these bigger walleye size minnows and that one just absolutely clocked it right there look at that one it's about as good as it gets out here on first days whacking big old northern wisconsin walleyes we'll take them like that all day long too cool right there all right back in the water he goes that is what i'm talking about right there oh he splashed me too on the way out you think we'll get any more today yeah i think so man the bite's been Pretty good so far, wouldn't you say? Has been a pretty solid bite so far. Good mix of species, some nice pike, some very nice walleye so far for northern Wisconsin. And uh, what is going on here? Do you hear somebody? Who's here? Hello? Do you guys have any room in there? Do we have any room? What? Who is this? Who could it be? How did you find us? Oh my gosh. I saw this big old shack oh out here. Oh my gosh. She found us. No. Well, Are you guys mad? <laughs> You don't have ice cleats, do you? No. Come on, Tom. Get it set. Oh, we got it. All right, could be a big pike, so. Big time. I'll take you in the light line. Watch out, Surly. Come here. Boy. Does it feel like a pike or does it feel like a walleye? It feels light right now. Just remember, right in the hole is where he's going to go. Oh, it's a nice, nice walleye. Really nice walleye. You kind of see it through the see it through the ice. Oh, nice walleye. Super nice. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh yeah, look at that one, Shelby. Good work. That is what I'm talking about. You show up and we caught one yeah. right away. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hold him up to Mitch. Get a good shot of him. Nice some. one. Uh, My first one of the day. Right on. Crushing him. So I just got out here, my first one, very nice fish. Uh, tip up fishing with some minnows. Awesome, good work baby. Let's let that guy go. I hope I can get him out of my hook. Such a good average size today. There he goes. Heck yeah. All right guys, well that is gonna do it for today's video. Appreciate you guys watching this one. Fun little multi-species tip up day out on some early ice. Mitchell, was it fun? I gotta ask you, you know the questions? <laughs> it was a blast. It's always, always a good time to catch big fish in shallow water. Yeah, super fun time. And uh, this bite's gonna be going on everywhere for probably the next month. The super shallow water, big weed flat, good sized walleyes, pike, a little mixed bag, everything. Yesterday we were catching perch up on one of these big shallow flats, uh, but good time. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you're not yet, please subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. And hopefully this channel helps you guys out a lot. And uh, stay tuned for more content because we'll be getting up early and hitting it hard once again tomorrow. So thanks for watching. See you next time.